Hi guys, myself Neha, your mentor for current affairs and in today's video I have a lot of interesting current affairs for you. So without wasting any time, let's begin the video for today. But those who are coming for the first time can subscribe this channel and hit this bell notification to get the latest updates. And also you can join this telegram group uh, from where you can get the free quizzes as well as you can connect with your mentor. So here we have the first question which is of national importance. So you have to pay uh, attention to this question. Which Indian Institute of Technology has partnered with University of Western Sydney for Australia India Water Centre? First of all, what is the purpose of this centre? The centre has been established in order to provide solutions to tackle water crisis in Australia and India. So the name is very clear. Naam se hi pata chal raha hai. Purpose kya hai? Purpose is to resolve the water crisis in both India and Australia and both the countries face a uh, drastic water crisis in, in their own countries. So in order to tackle that drastic water crisis uh, in the form of floods and droughts, so this water center has been set up which will provide innovative solutions. Now which IIT has partnered with uh, this university, university, that is University of Western. Sydney. So the right answer is IIT Guwahati. IIT Guwahati has partnered with this university and these two organizations are going to lead this center and apart from these two organizations a total number of 21 organizations from India and Australia have collaborated to make this center a success. So that's all for this question. I hope that you have understood what I am trying to tell you here in this question. Okay, so the next question is which country is the chair of SCO that is Shanghai Cooperation Organization in 2021. Now from where does this question come up? The recently 20th summit of SCO has been conducted and it was conducted under the chairmanship of Russia. So Russia is the chair of SEO in 2020 and which country is the chair of SEO in 2021? The right answer is the Pakistan. So I hope that these two facts are clear to you guys. Now I said that this is the 20th summit so there would be some outcomes of this summit as well. So here India proposed two major initiatives and what are those two major initiatives? Let's discuss that in the next slide because in that slide I have detailed the uh, outcomes of the summit for you guys. So this is first of all let me mention this thing to you guys that this summit is SEO summit of council of heads of state. So basically this was the meeting of a council of heads of state of SEO. Now what is the difference and what is why is it important that you will understand a bit later then we will cover it in the next slide. So you will understand that but first of all let's pay attention to this thing. So the outcome of the meeting was that India proposed SEO that SEO as an organization should have a working group for innovation and startup. As well as a subgroup on traditional medicine. So within the organization within SEO these two subgroups should be there. But remember this thing that this is just a proposal and SEO members have not sanctioned it yet. So India proposed these two working groups. Now apart from this, this is a kind of revelation, not a proposal or not an outcome of the summit. So under this um, revelation, India has announced that as uh, during its membership of UNSC as a non-permanent member for 2021 to 2022, you must be aware about that. So during its membership of UNSC, India will remain focused on reformed multilateralism. So this will be the theme of India as a part of theme or you can say it would be the motto of India uh, as, a part, as a part of UNSC in order to bring uh, good governance in the world. So these two facts are from this 20th summit. Now let's discuss this thing. What is the meaning of council of uh, head of states? So here on this slide you can see that there are various small points. Let's discuss all these points one by one. 
19th summit of SCO, heads of government, will be hosted by India on November 30, 2020 in a virtual mode. So here you can understand the demarcation. First summit is head of states and second is head of government. Head of states was hosted by Russia and heads of government is going to be hosted by India. So these two are different hosts and the chair of SCO in 2020 is Russia. So remember these three things and make a clear separate demarcation in your mind about this head of state and head of government council meetings. Current chair of SCO for 2020 is Russia, for 2021 it is Pakistan and the president of the Pakistan is Imoli Rahman. So he is going to be the actual person who is going to chair SCO summit in 2021. This point is important because it will make your understanding about this thing more clear. So SCO summit is organized at two levels. First is heads of governments and heads of state. SCO's Heads of State Council is the supreme decision making body in the SCO. So here Heads of States, State Council comprise people like Prime Ministers and Presidents of countries. Second is SCO's Council of Heads of Government is the second highest council in the organization and the meeting of this council is going to be hosted by India on November 30, 2020. So remember that. SEO's official languages are Russian and Chinese. So we have discussed everything apart from the members of SEO. So you have to tell me that uh, how many countries are members of SEO and the names as well because there are not too many countries. So you can easily name the members of Shanghai Cooperation Group. SEO in 2021. So guys, do you know that in 2021, SEO is going to observe its 20th anniversary. So this indicates that the establishment year of SEO was 2001. Remember the year as well. Establishment year of SEO. SEO 2020, 2021 is the SEO year of culture as SEO observes its 20th century. So 2021 has been des designated as the SEO year of culture in the wake of 20th anniversary of SEO. So what are the functions and what are the uh, events that India is going to organize in order to celebrate this thing? India, that is National Museum of India will organize the first SEO exhibition on shared Buddhist heritage. Remember this thing that National Museum of India is going to organize this exhibition and the theme of this is to uh, uh, theme is shared Buddhist heritage. Third point is India will also organize the SCO food festival next year. So these are the points that you should remember from this question. I hope that I'm clear and you should not forget to mention it in the comment section that which and how many countries are members of SCO. Apart from that, I think we have discussed every fact related to SEO from the exam point of view. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Which country has proposed food coalition to help countries get back on track to achieve the SDGs? SDGs are Sustainable Development Goals on Ending Hunger and Poverty. So basically, a new kind of coalition has been formed and which country has proposed it? The right answer is Italy. So Italy has proposed FAO, that is Food and Agriculture Organization, which is a specialized body of United Nations. So Italy has proposed FAO to have a food coalition and that food coalition will help different countries in overcoming the food shortages as well as making their agricultural supplies resilient so that if any kind of uh, destruction or any kind of pandemic like COVID-19 pandemic occurs in the future then the disruption should be uh, should not be on that scale that it has been in 2020. So that is the main purpose of this food coalition and till now uh, approximately 30 countries have shown interest to become members of this coalition but Remember this thing that is not clear. I mean, they have not uh, 
sanctioned it they have not clearly stated this thing that they are going to become members they have just shown interest in becoming the members of this food coalition now what are the things that you have to remember it leads fao fao that is going to lead uh, this coalition and the president of fao so that is your question for the day you will be telling me that who is the president of fao remember this thing that the person is the first chinese to become uh, is a chinese to become the president of fao so you will be telling me in the comment section below that who is that person who is the author of your day your best days today book so this book is has not been written yet but the cover page of the book was unveiled and the answer is anupam khe so quite a prominent actor he is so he has unveiled the cover page of his new book that is your best days today recently nepal president released a special anthology on mahatma gandhi named as mali मुझे को गांधी ट्रांसलेटेड एज माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट गांधी हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ नेपाल सो गाइस डू यू नो द नेम द राइट आंसर इज विद्या देवी भंडारी सो शी इज द प्रेसिडेंट एंड केपी ओली शर्मा इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ नेपाल आई होप दैट you can remember these facts and for today that's all for this session i hope that you have really liked this session and if you have then do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for your knowledge about the instant updates thank you so much for watching the video